Welcome back, guys. Stop Talk and Roll, episode 188. Let's go. Number one show for G2 analysis on YouTube. Today, we have uh, a king of the hill, but um, Roberto was kind enough to film, so it's we're going to follow me around in a, in a journey. I do not make it through the entire king of the hill. I will explain why. I'll keep it. I'll keep <laughs> the tension. I'm not going to stop constantly, but let me just sit back right here. I'm probably going to hit play and talk. I'm going to probably stop and break things down. I don't know why I say I'm probably going to hit play and talk because I'm not. I'm going to break things down. Um, this is my like generic pass. I'm also really not messing around in King of the Hill. I, I like to kind of run through people because that gives me a second to break. So uh, I hit the I hit the uh, pass. The King of the Hill, sorry. Um, it's first to score, um, but when you come in, the person that's coming in is playing guard. The person that's in the middle is passing. Um, so And I get to choose the guards. I'm just choosing open guard because I just want to get in and have some fun. Um Howard puts me into a deep half guard here, and I have to put this wizard in because if I don't, he can take my back. So we have to fight out of this situation. Um, he's doing a great job keeping my leg um, grabbed right here, but I am based out heavy, making sure that he can't take me one way or the other. I'm, I use that leg. So when he starts spinning me, when he starts spinning this direction... Right, I I latch my my back leg onto his back so he can't throw me. So look, I latch on. That's 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 like hugging him, okay. So as he keeps turning that way, I hug that tight. And whenever if if and when he turns back the other way, I just throw the leg back. Um, making sure my knees facing the ceiling so he can't knee bar me. Um, and I'm looking to I'm starting to actually threaten to put him in a rear triangle, but I I'm able to stay on top, drive him thrower. I was really close to sweeping me. Howard, just so you know. Shout out to Roberto with the camera. It's on a gimbal, so like people, if you don't, you gotta get used to it a little bit. Let don't make such junky music. That that is like the first pass I'm gonna try every single time. That's like my go-to little just throw by pass. Um, driving at his hips, so my right arm right now is pressing is is contact with his hip, and I'm using this cross face to kind of just create some pressure on his face. This is, yeah, to elongate him and then eventually step through for north-south. Um, realistically, like if this wasn't King of the Hill, if that was a tournament, I probably wouldn't have scored the two points, but I'm just going from there. Uh, Tatiana, I hope you don't kill me. I know Tatiana didn't want to be on the show. Don't kill me, Tatiana. All right, so I hit that pass. That's that's Again, that's like my go-to. I'm going to try that every single time. So notice that little movement right there where I pull forward and get his head stacked over, get, basically get his head heavy over his legs. So he has to commit his feet to the floor. Um, and then when I pull him back, it's all like, it, it all comes up together. Um, this is, uh, when did the episode get released? Oh, I'm glad I have my thing up. Um, last Friday. Uh, Roberto, funny that you're filming this. This is, uh, and Chris is right. Wow, this is like, <laughs> Roberto's filming. Chris is right here. Uh, this is what I'm talking about for my half guard pass. So I sit over, I put the weight on the head, I look to get the knee out, and then as soon as it's open, I'm, I'm out of there. I'm out of there, okay? That was the example where he opens his legs and I get my, my knee out, okay? Um, great, Howard round two. Let's see, do I avoid the half guard this time? Yep, he goes for a shin to shin. I stay nice and strong. I'm letting him turn to my side. He gets me in half guard, but the difference this time is I'm very high up. So him scooting out to back control is going to be very difficult. So I grab that sleeve, and I am just pulling up hard, not letting him get that back. Eventually, I'm going to look to dig either an overhook or an underhook, um, which will kind of dictate the way I pass. Right now, my option is an overhook. I can't really get in, so I'm driving my knuckles into his ribs. Not a nice thing to do, but Howard and I are buddies. <laughs> um, from here, I look to I get my knee out, and then just heavy, heavy, heavy hip pressure. This is great, Howard. I I, I just saw that now. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but if you peel this back towards your body, you're gonna put me in a very compromising position where I'm gonna have to react, and then you could use that to put yourself back into. Um, Half guard. 
Ah, the, ah, it looks like you're doing it without trying to peel my leg. I would try to actively peel my leg while you do that. Th that would be very difficult. It looks like you're just kind of putting a wedge. I would actually pull back. Okay. So under his arm still. That's that same, that's that effectively that same grip that I've had the whole time and use that to drive him over. Tatiana again. I'm going to try that same pass. I do it every single time. Not a secret. Oh, I come back, body lock, and drive through. So a variation of it just on the other side and, and come through. Tatiana, a way to avoid that is don't let me elongate your legs away from your chest or your armpit. Like once you once you feel someone grabbing at your legs, just retract your retract your legs into your armpits. I think we talked about that earlier this week too, with my episode on uh, with Dean on Thursday. So just get those back in there. All right. I like the uh, opposing yin and yang key here. Oh, nice coming in with the little worm guard thing. Drive through, heavy on the hips, dive down. You got my head in. Spin to a back take, one hook in. Again, in the spirit of King of the Hill, we throw that out. Um, guys, this is a good skill to have when this happens. This is really good, by the way. Um, so he gets me up. I try to unravel the legs that way, can't work. I try to unravel it the other way, and I'm able to get my leg free. So I'm I'm doing it two different ways. I'm either I'm either trying to I don't want that between my my legs. Like that's that's not good. Right? So as he's holding that, I look to step back. I look to step over. Oh, actually, you didn't have it. He, you put it in between my legs. So I'm trying to just step over his head and drive in. He said, there, look, I'm pulling this leg out. I get it out and sprawl heavy into him. I clear that grip. Look for the, sta the standing pull down. So that's a snap down. I wish you could get that in camera a little bit more. Maybe in the mirror. Snap down. No, not really. So snap down this, this side leg I'm using as a break. If I can get the, or I'm going to put the hook in and this one goes to swing around too and try to put that hook in depending on what side I end up on. I'll play to here. He keeps his arm open so I can get my hook in and we're good. Oh, Ramon. Okay. Ramon, Ramon, this is okay. Time out. This is, I'm not one for excuses, and this is the first time I've ever done this. Ramon's laundry detergent effectively was a gas attack on me, and uh, it, it hindered me for the remainder of class. So the rest of this role, I will become deeply affected, because Ramon's good at jujitsu. Like, it's not, you could see, it's not super easy to pass Ramon's guard. I have to bury my head in, and I am just... Look at that. He is just sticking that gi in my nose. We are sweating. It is wet, smelly. It doesn't smell bad. It smells great. It's 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 clean. It's a clean gi. Um, I try that move again that I just hit to take his back. Ramon's being really good about not letting me get my hooks in. The gas is starting to get to me right here. All right, so I take him back over. So solidifying some kind of top attack. That should be a pass right here. I wonder why we didn't stop. Yeah, it's a pass. Oh, it was a quick round. Let's see. Let's. All right. So driving into him. Always looking for that wizard. Flattening him out. And then driving up 
This is that half guard situation again. Look, I'm focused on staying, I'm keeping him down. And this, I, I go over the top. I go to bring my leg up. Robert, uh, Ramon does a good job bringing his knees to his chest. And I circle around. Guys, that's a, that's a movement that I do a lot. So I whizzer, knee slice, spin to north south. This is this is all things I've taught. These are all things that I've taught in class, just tied together and fast. So I have half guard. I'm switching up. Actually, can I just slow this down? Pause. All right, high tech here. So I slowed it to half speed. So we're getting up. I go for the knee slice. I get that I get that overhook, that whizzer, so that lets me slice. Because I don't have the overhook. Sorry, because I don't have the underhook, it does allow Ramon to turtle, which is which is what he elects to do. When some so I'm going to go to north south. He turtles while I do this, so I use this to completely spin. And when somebody turtles on the bottom of side control, I go to take their back. So as he turtles, he's going to, I know he's going to come up. He's not going to lay straight. He's not going to lay belly down because I'm just going to get on top of him. So he has to come up. So I keep going. I spin. This back leg is going to shoot in for the hook. I think I missed the hook. No, I'm able to get the hook. Oh, no. Remote, well, Ramon's defending it well, but I'm not able to get that hook. So again, we're in half guard. I get the reverse cross face. I come up. Clear the knee through, knee slice with the whizzer in. I can go for a darce here. That's usually what I've been doing lately is hit, hitting a darce. Um, Ramon turtles. I spin. That hook's coming in. I get the hook in, but Ramon's able to clear it. I pull him over, and then we keep rolling from there. Um, and then that's just like a back take series, and I come up the north-south eventually. So... Um, yeah, we're in normal speed again. Yes, we are. Um, and yeah, his gi, his gi deeply affected me at that point. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 is not a normal response. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So we go in, Ben establishes a little guard action here. This is good. A little push and pull. This is really good. I clear that that clear that leg. Guys, this is an easy way to clear that grip. You pretend there is a soccer ball right here. And I turn right here where my mouse is. Turn and kick the soccer ball. Boom. Drive through. Heavy head pressure. Keep that leg out of the way. Wrap up the legs. He's got me in a guillotine, but my body's crossed, so I'm not worried about it. And I look to hit a... Well, I, I can't drive him into the wall, so we pull him away from the wall a little bit. Um, drive him back down, and I look to hit a um, Von Flu choke. But Ben does a really nice job. Tilts, turns me over. Very nice. He gets the sweep. <laughs> and that's that. That's my round. Um... Good job, Ben. I like that I started and ended with Ben. Nice little like cap on there. Uh, Ramon, change your laundry detergent for the love of God. Don't share that. Maybe use it before competitions. I didn't suggest that. But uh, man, that was bad. It doesn't smell bad. But when you're sweating and it's it felt it literally felt like a chemical attack. I was I was overwhelmed. That that got me messed up more than anything. We need a Dan or her video on uh Laundry detergent, gas attacks. No gi, obviously. Maybe he'd like and subscribe to my videos then. Ring that notification bell. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. Um, and if you... Oh, no, I'm going to miss it. <sighs> little black screen came up. Um, if you'd like to be on the show, check out the description below. and We'll get you on here. All right, have a lovely day. Bye.